the uh, the course is uh, is on resonances in nature by non-emission quantum mechanics, but I have to say that is not limited to the resonance phenomena as you'll see. Um, resonance phenomena is uh, uh, the most maybe striking uh, uh, example I think in scattering theory that can be explained by using the non-emission quantum mechanics. And in the end of the course or in the, in, in, in the continuation, I want to emphasize that non-emission quantum mechanics, the formalism of quantum mechanics that I'm going to talk about, is not only a tool. It's a tool, important tool, that you may use and may not use. And what I suggest is to use it because it helps analytically to get close uh, uh, formed expressions that by looking at these expressions without doing any calculation, you know what's going to happen. In particular, when we speak about uh, interactions of atoms with uh, lasers, for example, you will see immediately without knowing what will be the uh, symmetry of the uh, high harmonics. You see that uh, why uh, in experiments uh, the emitted high harmonics in most cases are odd harmonics and not even one. And you'll see what is the ATI spectra and how it's related to, um, to, uh, to the high harmonics and so the, the formalism helps you without doing any calculation to understand phenomena in nature. This is one point. Second point, numerically. We'll see how it helps numerically to solve problems that it's hard and sometimes impossible to solve otherwise. And uh, last and not least, and this is what is the, the, my desire to, to, to convince you is to find phenomena in nature that without non-emission quantum mechanics you cannot understand it. So what it means? It means that if you want to design an experiment to see phenomena that have never been observed before, you cannot design the experiment without the use of non-emission quantum mechanics. After you design it and find what it is and know what are the parameters that will show this phenomena that now I know that I'm speaking abstract, but there are such phenomena, then you can do calculations using the standard Hermitian quantum mechanics calculation and see that it's really happened. But if you change some parameters and the phenomena disappear in the Hermitian quantum mechanics, you don't understand the standard one, the Hermitian one, you don't understand why this phenomena happened at all and why when you change slightly one of the parameters, this phenomena totally disappear. In the non emission quantum mechanics, you immediately know what it is. So, in the end of the day, if you want to use standard packages of Hermitian quantum mechanics to do the calculations, to design the, your experiment, or to analyze your results that were obtained in the lab, you can do it. But you cannot really do it without previously analyzing the experiment using the non emission quantum mechanics. And this kind of experiments, I would like in, during this. A, a course to describe and actually I can tell you people publish already ex results that were obtained in the lab that really show what I'm telling you today. So uh, how this uh, is going to happen? We will uh, give a short talks, we we'll split the, 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 the lectures to small, small uh, short talks, 10-15 uh, minutes each one, then we stop and then open it for discussions. If there are discussions and questions and so, we'll do it. If not, we'll continue. And then, after uh, this uh, uh, today, for example, uh, lectures, we will uh, meet again in three weeks or two weeks, depends on you, we'll discuss it. And you will read the first three chapters of the book. And in the end of the, my talks, I'll tell you, uh, my talk today, I'll tell you what I suggest you to emphasize during this uh, uh, reading. And then we'll meet and we'll discuss and we'll give uh, questions and comments and uh, I hope that if somebody has questions, somebody else can answer him beside me. And uh, this is how we're going to continue. I hope that new ideas will pop out during this. If not in the end, if you would like, we can decide about projects. And also during this uh, uh, meeting next time that we'll meet, after you read the, uh, these three chapters, 
I think that I will give you some uh, uh, mini course about numerics, how to solve uh, problems uh, that associate with non-emission quantum mechanics, actually also with emission quantum mechanics in a simple way. So when we speak about resonance, I want you to see the resonances on the screen of the computer based on the code that you will write.